Hey yo guys, welcome back to Code It All. And uh, today I'm going to be covering one of the world's famous bundlers, uh, package bundlers, and that's the Parcel JS bundler. Um, so it's really helpful, really useful. I use it a lot when I, when I want to bundle, say, uh, development version files into production assets. And uh, whenever, yeah, I just want to provide support for some of the languages. Oh yeah, sorry about my throat, uh, throat and all. And then, um, sorry for also my inconsistency in uploading the videos. Sorry, I've been, it's just I'm just a little busy. I have exams again now, so they just started again this um, month, I guess. So uh, I'm gonna try to upload as often as I can. Okay, I'm trying to go back to my original two videos per week schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. So, uh, to, to go about this tutorial, you need Node.js installed. So, I highly recommend you download uh, Node.js. So, yeah, you can either download the long term support version or the current version. Really, it doesn't matter. Um, I, downloaded, I downloaded the real, um, my actual version. I'm just going to show you. Sorry for that yawn. 9 p.m. Sorry, I'm. Oh, I'm not able to type. Yeah, it's 14.5.0. So, yeah, I've downloaded when this was the actual version. Okay. Um, so, what I want to do is generate an npm script, put the dash y flag to get all the questions automatically answered. Check out a package.json. It contains all of the dependencies and all that. We're gonna edit the, all the test scripts in a minute, all the scripts in a minute. But I want to install one package, and that is. Wait, before that, I want to show you Parcel. Um, so this is the Parcel website. It's getting started. You can either use Yarn or npm. Okay, so npm is so that Oh god, I'm yawning so bad. I'm so sorry, okay? Here to use npm install dash g to install this parcel bundle globally. I've installed it to my, um, I've installed it already to my own thing. So I don't have to keep installing it all the time for my, uh, I don't know, I, I don't have to automatically keep installing it. That's, that's why I've already installed it on my computer. Um, I think I use npm install dash g parser bundle. Okay. Um, anyways, now I just want to install npm i sas. I just want to install the sas package because we're going to be SAS working with sas today. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything fancy, just the hello world. I just want to demonstrate to you what this does. Okay. Um, so what I can just do is I can just clear this. I can just start by building up my assets index HTML. Uh, I'm gonna jump SAS folder. Yeah, this is probably a file structure as of now. And uh, in my index HTML, it's gonna go exclamation point tab. Here it's gonna be parcel.js tutorial and this is going to be a h1 saying hello world um so it's probably that that's it i just want to leak in my script tag here um script uh source for this is my index.js yeah. Oh my God, I'm shooting this in five at five thirty in the morning. Oh, okay. So in my index.js, I just want to import my SAS file. So I just want to import this file. That's all I want to do. And maybe console log. Uh, hello world. Mm, I 
much better. Okay, so um, I'm just importing my styles.scss into a JavaScript, which is another way to actually link in your JavaScript. And I'm just putting the script tag to put in my JavaScript into this. And over here, what I just want to do is And then I'm just going to go to my font family, just some basic styles. I already have Nido installed on my computer locally, so I don't have to bring it from Google Fonts or whatever, but you can do that. You can put whatever font you want. It'll still work. So in my package, I, what I can do is I'm just going to run parcel index HTML. I'm just going to run that for a sec. So I'm going to come up here any minute. Wait. Uh, by the way, in the description, I'm going to include the uh, link for the Parcel.js website as well as the SAS, uh, as well as the SAS files. So obviously, I need to go in here, and we get this nice little hello world on localhost port one two three four. Uh, so you can see your SAS files being applied without having to actually compile them down to CSS because Parcel internally does that for you. Um, so I can just stop this. It will be much better to create a script. Um, so just delete this. So you can create a development script that is parcel index HTML. And then I want to specify the output directory. Do we need an output directory? I don't think so. Uh, but for this, I'm just going to give it output directory because it outputs a disk folder instead of that development. And uh, the port, I want it to be 3000 instead of 1234. And I want it to remove the cache folder and the development folder before it actually uh, compiles and opens everything up. So, what I want to do is RMRF to remove a directory development double ampersand rmrf um dot cache i'm just gonna add slashes so we can make it a little bit clear that this is a folder so we have a dev script up and running. I just want to include a build script. So build is to build all of our files. We have the static assets that can be used in the production mode. So what I'm just going to do is parcel build. It's parcel build, right, if I'm not wrong. Let's go down here and check it out. Uh, parcel build. Yeah, parcel build index HTML. So I'm come back here, parcel build index HTML, and go for my output directory into slash dist. That's gonna be my output directory, and obviously I want to move both dist. Oh, do we need that? MRF? I don't think so. Or we just do that. MRF dist. I want to put slash just to make it clear it's a folder. I don't know, it just for safety reasons and stuff. Just want to make sure that I have that also. And I want to move that cache. So I think those are the scripts that we need to set up. They're up and running. And I can obviously run npm run dev. So that one. It will take a moment. Yes, you see server running on localhost 3000. Well, it was running on 1, 2, what was that? Oh, let me not here. It was running in uh, localhost 3000, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I specified the port here to be 3000, so it's running in 3000. Um, so, one sec. Uh,
Hmm. NPM and dev again because I don't see the development server. Development folder. I mean. Okay. Yeah, I see my development folder now. Uh, so that's basically what we have right now. And uh, when we build it, this disk is eventually going to go disappear. And we're going to have um, a new disk created with all of our final bundle assets. So let's just go check this out, see if it's working. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Um, so this is working awesome. Uh, we really don't need to compile our SAS and all that. We can just ignore these upper, upper files here. And just work with the ones that we created. Um, so this is perfect. I want to just try it npm one build. <coughs> okay, sorry. Uh, about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna try npm one build. npm one build, and uh, we should get all of our static assets bundled up. It's gonna take a bit of time, I'm guessing. So it's building my index.html.js, it's installing something called CSS Nano, I guess it's a minifier. We're totally not sure. There's not much styles to go after anyways in my styles.scss. We only have a body, we only have body styles, it's going to be the same for our normal CSS. We had no absolute reason to create a SAS file. I just wanted to show you the bundling of SCSS and CSS and how you can actually use a CSS without having to compile it down to CSS using Visual Codes, Visual Studio Codes. Um, what's that called? Live SAS compiler. Yeah, we don't need to use that, especially when you want to bundle stuff up. Okay, so <laughs> sorry. Ah, oh, God, I'm dying here. Not dying, but ah, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, um, built in 33.62 seconds. Built in 33.62 seconds, um, and then. We have uh, basically in our gist folder, we have these five files. This is the map.js, which basically contains all of the source stuff. Wait, I'm just going to show you. This is my index.html. It basically has no other difference except for the linking of the CSS and the JavaScript. This might be a little different. And it's, and the CSS is basically the same. And if you look at our map, it's a different sort of thing, you know. It's basically some uh, source stuff. It basically contains all of the information, kind of like a package.json for our CSS file, kind of like that. Um, so yeah, that's the way it actually does. It matches. So th these are all regular expressions here. Delete. You can just remove that, I guess, but not. Nah. So you have a part. Uh, so you basically have a, a JS file. Wait, we never saw if the console log was actually working. It probably is, but yeah, it works. Um, back here. So yeah, this is probably all the code that parcel requires to function. So and the par code parcel put in when you need to build. That's that. I guess. Uh, you can just ignore it. There's a ton, a lot of files and ton a lot of code. You can just ignore it. But our actual JI JavaScript. Uh, that's our actual JavaScript. This is our map. Oh wow, this is so damn big. Let me try to see it. See if pretty it works. Okay, it does. Uh. Yeah, okay, I don't want to keep messing with it. Um, okay, so I wanted to find there. Yeah, that's probably it. I just want to show you this in my file explorer. I want to reveal this in my file explorer. Go into my test. Index. Hmm. SAS isn't being applied. Hmm, why? So yeah, let me just go to my index HTML. Uh, partial bun for CSS. You know this? Yep, it works. Oh no, we just might have to tinker and save my index. We might have to just save the index HTML file again. But other than that, um, this thing just works perfect. Oh God, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just a little sleepy, but I hope I'm still able to explain it perfectly because. 
uh, I just want this video to be good. I'm explaining parcel. I have I had this on my reading list for a whole lot of time. I'm just hoping I'll be able to explain this concept perfectly for you guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to use it um, and all that. So there's no need to for you to bother over what the hell happens with your Visual Studio Code extensions. You can just use parcel. You can also bundle it in static assets before deploying your app to some place like the world through Netflix. Netlify. Oh god, I'm not able to pronounce it. Netlify. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot about the parcel bundle. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Please do like, share, and subscribe to show your support for this channel. And see you soon. <laughs>